Are you looking for more information about Sebastian, Florida and what it has to offer? I'll go through what Sebastian has to offer its residents and what you will find on the mainland versus the barrier island in terms of real estate, businesses and things to do. My name is Rachel Carroll. I run a real estate team here in the Space and Treasure Coast of Florida. We specialize in residential real estate sales in Sebastian, Vero Beach, and the surrounding areas. Call us if you'd like our assistance with your real estate needs. We have had the fortune of helping thousands of Treasure Coast families buy and sell. All of our contact information is in the description below there for you. Sebastian is a really neat town with a lot of local pride. I would describe it as a sleepy um, like haven for retirees, a safe community for families. It's beautiful and tame and easy to get around with minimal traffic. It's close to I-95, US-1, Vero Beach, and Melbourne. And Sebastian has an inlet, so it's great for boaters and people who love fishing. It's actually known for its stellar fishing. It is a small community, but it is also a really, really great one. Sebastian primarily exists on the mainland between I-95 and the Indian River Lagoon. It's primarily residential with single family homes, a few condo and townhome options sprinkled in, and some commercial uh, real estate and businesses nestled along US-1 and Sebastian Boulevard, which cuts east to west. Sebastian has a few chain staples such as Dunkin' Donuts, Walmart, Wendy's, and Home Depot, but most of Sebastian's businesses are local, and that's actually one of the things that I love about the area. Sebastian also offers some really nice protected preserve parks, um, some nice community sports facilities, a skate park, local playgrounds, and outdoor water sports like kayaking, fishing, boating guides, um, and they also do skydiving out of the municipal airport there. I've been. Sebastian is not well known for its barrier island area, but when you go over the Wabasso Bridge onto what is locally known as Orchid Island, you will find some nice upscale housing communities the Vero Beach Disney uh, Resort, and a few local businesses right around the Wabasso Public Beach access. Uh, the beach here is also a favorite spot for local surfers too, and I guess it's the way the waves break right there. I'm not sure, I don't surf, but my husband does. So if you travel down the island towards Vero, you will find all residential real estate communities, mostly single family homes and some condominiums. If you travel north towards Melbourne Beach, you will find a neat neighborhood that we call Summer Place. So it's got lots of Airbnb and vacation type homes with like a beach bungalow feel, sandy roads. It's a laid back, more private and surfy beachy kind of vibe. North of that is the very prestigious Orchid Island Golf and Beach community and the exclusive Windsor community that borders the Pelican Island National Wildlife Refuge, which I touch on in this other video I made about Sebastian if you wanna check it out. As you continue north from there on the island, it will begin to narrow significantly and you're gonna find this really neat community called Ambersand Beach. It's literally a strip of land where there are really rare ocean to river lots and homes. Really neat beachfront homes, some very luxury and some very old and beachy. And then you hit the Sebastian Inlet. If nothing else, just keep, keep taking that drive up the highway is such a beautiful sightseeing drive and it's definitely worth it. So some of the things that I like to do on the island in Sebastian is visit the Environmental Learning Center. We call it the ELC. They host different events throughout the year that are obviously environmentally and community focused as well as a lot of family activities. It's a lovely facility and worth visiting. I also like to catch breakfast once in a blue moon at the Vero Beach Disney Resort. Uh, I also enjoy running and biking the historic Jungle Trail, which actually predates Highway A1A. It's really beautiful. It's mostly um, like a dirt road that cuts the island from north to south. It's really a neat experience. So. In summary, I love this beautiful place, and if you're looking to move here or visit, I really hope you take the opportunity to check out some of the things that I've shared. My hope always is that it adds to and enriches your experience of this area. While you're here, go check out my other videos on this channel, 
feel free to leave a comment because the more we share, the more everyone benefits. If you need help or assistance, you can always call us. Calling us does not obligate you to buy a house or even work with us, but it does start you in the right direction to finding your right home here and getting connected to a team of excellent, highly motivated full-time realtors who strive for excellence in what we do. So give us a call and go click that subscribe button before you forget.